How's it going everyone? In this video, I'm going to show you how to record separate audio tracks using your Go XLR and OBS Studio. This video will be a two part video. The first part will be for dual PC setup users, a streaming PC and a gaming PC. I have a dual PC setup and the second part will be for a single PC user. There will be a timeline in the description below so you can just jump to the part which you would like to watch. I'll try to keep this video as short as possible. Let's start off with the dual PC setup users. Right, first I need you to go to the Go XLR app and then go to the routing table. You can see this is my routing. You can just basically copy my settings. I use the game channel for voice mods um, soundboard or a soundboard, a virtual soundboard. So you don't have to select that one. If you're running a 3.5 millimeter cable, you'll probably put it online in and not on console. I'm using an optical cable. That's just, this is why I have mine set to console. Okay, so if you've got two 3.5 millimeter cables running from your gaming PC into your Go XLR, one being for your mic, the other one being for game sound, then you can copy these settings over here. Okay, we're gonna basically use this broadcast stream mix to capture our game sound in OBS Studio. Right, once you've done that, I'm just gonna switch everything back where it was. Um, you can close the Go XLR app or just minimize it or close it. And then we can go to OBS Studio. Now you can see I'm busy recording with OBS Studio, but I've only got my mic track here. Let's change that. Let's go to File, Settings. And we're gonna go to Output and make sure that the Output mode is set to Advanced. Then next to streaming, we will go to recording and at the audio tracks, we will make sure that we've got four selected. I can't select anything now. It's because I am busy recording. Then you're going to go down to audio. The first track I'm going to set is my Discord audio, which is running through my chat channel on my Go Excel arm. The second channel is going to be my music channel. My foobar uses the music channel for my Go Excel arm to play the music so I can hear it. Then we've obviously got our chat mic. And then lastly, you can use that broadcast stream mix to capture your gaming PC's sound. Then you're going to go ahead and press apply. And there you have your four audio tracks. The thing is now you're going to have to route root it just the way we routed in the Go XLR app. To do this, press on the settings gear, on the little gear over there, and press advanced audio properties. Now you can see all of the audio is recording into one that's not what we want so what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna make my my first track is gonna be my mic and i'm gonna disable all the other ones so it doesn't record in any of those tracks second thing i'm gonna do is my mic too if you remember it's my gaming pc my broadcaster stream mix i'm gonna put that on track two and then i'm gonna do the rest for the same music is on track three and lastly Discord is on track four. And there you have it. There you've simply separated all your audio tracks. The thing to keep in mind is that if you watch your playback, you, you watch your recording back and you only hear your mic, it's remember that uh, video players can only play one track. So you need to take that recording and drop it into a video editor that supports multiple audio tracks, something like the Vinci Resolve, Vegas Pro or Adobe Premiere Pro. And that's it. You are done and you are ready to record with your separate audio tracks. I'm going to move on now to the single PC users. And uh, yeah, thanks for watching. I hope this helps someone. See you around. Cheers. Right, single PC users, let's get started. The first thing I need you to do is open up your Go XLR app and then go to the routing table. Now to separate your audio tracks, you can just copy my settings. This is how I have it and it works. And this one is for, chat is for Discord, Fubar 2000, which is my music player, is obviously music. And then my system, my PC sound, the full playback device is the game. So when I open up my sound settings, you can see my output device is game. So yeah, that's perfect. You can keep it that way. You can just copy my settings and obviously I've got my mic here on mic. Right, then I'm going to minimize the Go XLR app and I'm going to bring up OBS. You can see I am busy recording with OBS. 
So the first thing I need you to do is go to file settings, output, and make sure output is in advanced mode, and then go to recordings. Make sure that you have four audio tracks selected over here. Like you can see if I've got four audio audio tracks, but it's grayed out because I'm busy recording. And then you can head over to audio. Okay, so I'm gonna first thing I'm gonna do add is Discord, which is the chat channel on my GoXLR. Second one I'm gonna add is the music, Fubo 2000. And obviously I've got my chat mic. And then I'm gonna press apply. But you might be thinking, where is my game sound? Where is my PC system sound? You're gonna have to add that as a separate source. So I know my OBS looks a bit different, but just look for the sources and press, press on the add button and you look for output, audio output capture. Not audio input, that's a mic. Audio output capture. Add one and for the purpose of this tutorial, I'll just call it game sound. Okay, and you wanna set it to game. And there you go, you've got your four separate audio tracks. But now you're recording and all of the tracks is recording the same audio. Everything is mixed into everything and it's not working. What you need to go do is click on the gear icon, go to the advanced audio property so we get to the routing table of OBS. All right, over here, you can see that all of the tracks is actually recording into recording all the same things we want to separate that so i'm going to keep my mic to track one i'm going to disable it on all the other tracks and then game sound i'm going to put on two um this one will be for the music which i will be free and this one will be for for my discord which i will leave on four and you have successfully now set up separate audio tracks for your recordings it's as simple as that just keep in mind if you do watch it rewatch your recordings vlc or any uh video player for that matter can only play one track at a time so if you want to hear that all of your audio has recorded correctly check it in a uh, video editor that supports multiple audio tracks something like the vinci resolve um, vegas pro or even adobe premiere Okay, I hope this tutorial helps someone out there and thank you very much for watching. See you in the next one. Bye!